Get again. Whole oh, busy. All these busy bodies. Everybody busy doing nothing. Um, as gold in the furnace, has he tried this? I'll read that scripture number again because this is oh, okay. a new video. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna start over again. All right, that's Wisdom good. Wisdom of Solomon three and two, three to one. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery. And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded, for the Most High proved them and found them worthy for himself. As gold in a furnace had he tried them and received them as a burnt offering, and in the time of their visitation, they shall shine. Yeah, we like a, yeah, we want to shine. And run to and fro like sparks amongst the stubble. <laughs> That's bad right there, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, that, that, goes, that goes into the spiritual power. Yep. The, 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 the Lord, we're going to be like superheroes. Yeah, with your boy Quicksilver. Yeah. I like Quicksilver better yeah, than Flash. Yeah, that's why I said Quick Fuck Flash. Yeah. That'd make you think of, uh, he, he's just like the god Mercury, Hermes. Yeah, Quicksilver, that's what, that's the dude. Um, they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people and their Lord shall reign forever. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, for grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. For his elect. You know what I'm saying? He didn't say it for everybody. Right. But the ungodly shall be punished accordingly to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. For whoso despiseth wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, <laughs> and their hope is vain. Their hope is vain. Their labors unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. They're worthless. These, that's why we say these people are worthless. You know what I'm saying? It's a worthless ass people, man. Useless eaters. Yeah, you exactly. Useless eaters, man. That's what we're dealing with. Their wives are foolish. Oh, yeah, these women out here is foolish. <laughs> And their children wicked. Yeah, that's why you got all these single mothers ra raising up a bunch of little demons. You know, a bunch of little bastards. Fucking uh, house full of trolls. Yeah, because they got no father, no discipline. Mm -hmm. They're getting raised on that effeminate spirit. Yep. And they, and they didn't grow up to be faggots, they're demons. And there's no truth in them. Their offspring is cursed. That's a tale. <laughs> you see his face? I didn't really pay attention. Probably was. They look like a douchebag. Mm -hmm. the, their offspring is cursed. Can you do this? Wherefore? I think you get a scripture. Right? Be careful with that. They'll go off. That is Can't grab it by that. Which have not known the single thing. She shall have fruit in the visitation of soul. And blessed is the unit which with his hands have brought no iniquity nor imagine wickedness, wicked things against the Most High. For unto him shall be given the special gift of faith and an inheritance in the temple of the, of the Lord more acceptable to his mind. For glorious is the fruit of good labor. It's a good labor right here, what yep. we're doing. And the root of wisdom shall never fall away. As for the children of adulterers, <laughs> the children, yeah, because you know, most people is born out of adultery, ain't they? Yeah. Most of these children walk around, they, their brothers and sisters got different dads. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's confusion, man. As for the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection. And the seed of an unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. For though they live long, Yet shall they be nothing regarded, and their last age shall be without honor. For if they die quickly, they have no hope, neither comfort 
in the day of trial. For horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bad scripture. Yeah, this is an unrighteous generation. You got all these wicked ass hoes walking around. On our way up here, we drive down here, man. We see so many whores whoring it up on the streets. It's, it's ridiculous, man. Man. But all these women's whores. You just ain't got to stand on the corner just to be a whore. All these bitches are whores. Every last one of them. What do we say? Point zero point zero zero. <laughs> Hold on, excuse me. Cause like Solomon said, <laughs> man, there ain't none of these women righteous. There might be a point zero zero nine percent righteous women. The rest of them is all hoes. Okay, it's a very small percentage. That's why that scripture in Proverbs said in Proverbs thirty one said, "Who can find a virtuous woman?" For her price is far above rubies. <laughs> Cause you ain't gonna find that. You, find it. you know what I'm saying? It's like we ain't gonna find no rubies. <laughs> yeah, you ain't gonna, I got no rubies. You got rubies? I got no rubies and I ain't got no virtuous ones. I can show you a picture of one. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> the closest we gonna come to a ruby. Yeah, I got no ruby. I got <laughs> a ruby's a perfect man. That's some bad shit, man. Like yeah. a big ass ruby. Shit, I ain't got no cubic zirconia. Right, right. I ain't got nothing. I, oh, I, got, I got a couple of uh, silver coins. Look at that asshole. I don't know if your dude's gonna make it out here, man. They fucked him up. I, I just hate to fucking leave and him be down here. Right. He got a phone. Um, oh, was texting me, see if he I forgot he got, he got his number on yeah, Does he have service? Yeah. Well, he got that free. Yeah, I just don't know if he got like actual phone service. Or you just on Wi-Fi. Well, if he's a home, we'll know. Proverbs, I'm just gonna read some scriptures. Proverbs 29 and uh 24. Twenty-eight and no, twenty-nine and twenty-four. Whoso is partner with a thief hateth his own soul. He heareth cursing and be rare it not. That's a good scripture. You supposed to depart from evil, man. That's not what I was looking for. I was looking for something else. We'll get a different scripture. I'm gonna go to, I'm just gonna go to John 14 and 21. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he is that loveth me. So the Lord, you're supposed to keep the Lord's commandments. Like in the last video, we was talking about you're supposed to grow your beard out. You know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to be uh, gauging in bestiality. A lot of these bitches are fucking horses. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to keep the Sabbath. You're supposed to keep all the commandments, right? He that, he that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Judas saith unto him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou will manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? And Yahweh shall I answer and said unto him, if a man love me, he will keep my words. That's all these words we've been reading. Okay? From the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation. If a man love me, he will keep in my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my saying. And the word which you hear is not mine, but the father which sent me. 
white. Because the right, because the people who don't hear the words we say, they don't understand it. They don't agree with us. That's because they're not of the Lord. They're a bunch of demons, a bunch of adulterers, a bunch of adulteresses, a bunch of sluts, faggots, sodomites, heathens. They're like an under heathens, under spit. Well, he's on his, he's on his here. A dunghill. All right. <laughs> Yeah, he's on the street. Oh, that's good. Good thing, man. What's that scripture that said? I'm gonna do a uh, search on dung. Our people, are Israel, two thirds of Israel is likened unto a, a mountain of dung. Uh, I'm trying to think where that's at. Do a quick search. I, I got my, I got my searching. Fast, fast than yours. Fast than mine. I, I, I programmed this one myself. Oh shit! You might got me there. Here you go, bro. This is fire for you. Well, this is Matthew 13 and 17. All right. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. Hear ye therefore the parable of the soul. When anyone heareth the words of the kingdom, and understand it not. Oh, that's a, yeah. Read that again. <laughs> that's a good one. Third, and yeah, that's all we doing is talking about the kingdom. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understand it not, then cometh the wicked. One. Then come with the wicked. Right first, the first when someone come, we give them this word, right? But if, they, if we give it to them, then they reject it. Then there come that wicked one. And they come them spirits is just going. <laughs> they already got spirits on, but now they're gonna have sevenfold spirits. Legion. They're gonna have a goddamn legion of demons on them. <laughs> right, and Satan himself is gonna get their ass. <laughs> then come with the wicked one and catch it away that which was sown in his heart. That's just like that one, that white dude we seen out here. He's a drummer. The, the, right, right. We saying he ain't, every time he's came by, he stopped and talked to us. But the last time we cursed his ass out so bad, he couldn't even stop. I'm surprised he ain't dead yet. The most I just straight up kill you, man. This is he. Um, this is he which receiveth seed by the wayside. But he that receiveth the seed into the stony places the same as he that heareth the word, and, and Anna with joy receiveth it. Right, because because we're out here, we're planting. We're, we're, what we're doing, we're planting seeds. You know what I'm saying? We like we throw some seeds, and uh, sometimes those seeds are laying on rocks, and that shit ain't gonna grow. You yeah, have some people like you, you, you hard headed. You know, someone's hard headed. They got a head like a rock. That means they're retarded. They're stupid. Ain't no seeds gonna grow in that. Cerebral palsy type of thing. Right. <laughs> That's the average Israelite. No seeds is only going to grow in that, that fertile soil. <laughs> right. And sometimes you you might you might plant a seed and somebody else might water it. But you might not see the effects of it right away. We don't see the, the instant effects of this word we're teaching. We might teach somebody, never see that person again, but they might come on to be a man of the Lord. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But we never see him again. This we, part reminds me of the oh, yeah? Yet hath he not root in himself, but doreth dur for a while. For when tribulation or oh, persecution... Yeah. Because sometimes, yeah, you got people who they'll, they'll, they'll hear the word. Like, oh, that's, that, that's my shit. I'm going to go teach the Bible. And then they come out here and they teach for maybe a year, two years, and then they fall the fuck off. <laughs> and they just stop coming out. Save their beards. Save their beards, get tattoos. Tattoo the fuck up. Stacking money, <laughs> getting money. Old guy. Creating your own reality. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, man. Making your own way, bro. Being the master of your own reality. <laughs> Oh, I got a scripture on the attitude. Hold on, let me finish this. You're right, sir. He apologized to us. He did this work. Yeah, he's walking. Feet curtains. 
She sounded like a horse walking. Click, clap, clap, clap. I don't know what she was apologizing for. Okay. There's, but, a, there's a young one right there. But Dorothy for a while, for when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by, he is offended. Right, you get offended after a while. That's what happens to a lot of so-called brothers. They'll be in this thing, and after a while, they shit just starts building up inside them. They start getting offended by everything. Gotta get out of there. They gotta go. Gotta get out it's, of there. It starts to be a burden. Yeah. They so see the boys with 22s in the car that barely runs. You know, they want that same shit. They be impressed by a piece of shit oh, with 22s on the phone. He been doing it for like two hours. <laughs> That's your punishment for being late. Nah. You gotta do the camera. Oh, like that. I had to work my system. Nah, I know, man. I just fucked with you. 400 push ups. Yeah, 400 push ups. Yeah, they sneak out the window because you, you got drunk man. last week. <laughs> <laughs> now, you got some people in them other camps that the camp leaders is making people do push ups. <laughs> do, <laughs> do 10 laps around the campus. Yeah, if you got a scripture wrong, or they make you do push ups, do laps. That dude in Chicago, uh, Batak, was making motherfuckers do laps. What the fuck? I think they got rid of him. That's a dude, he look like Randy Moss. Yeah, they got rid of him. But he been, been got rid of him a long time ago. That motherfucker had straight demons on him. He looked like a demon. He looked like a fucking demon. This whole country has changed. Okay, let me finish that song. He also that received a seed among the thorns. Is he that heareth the word and the care of this world? Oh, the, yeah, the care of this world. And the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unfruitful. Yeah, because you won't become part of this world. Because no man can serve two masters. Either with on the side of the most high, or you on the side of Satan. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no in between. Oh, you going straight to John. I don't remember where it all is. Looks like it looked more. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'll um, look more. I remember when um, George Bush was spoke that. You either with us or against us. Oh, hold on. Oh, right before you get that, I got this that, that precept. Okay. Uh, Zephyr, because earlier I made a statement. I said our people are like pals of shit. <laughs> you deny the Lord, you're likened unto a pal of shit. Uh, Zephaniah 1 and 17. I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord. They have sinned against Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah. And their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Mm -hmm. They're like, they gonna be pals of shit. Mainly those motherfuckers that's coming up against us. Right, they coming against us, they heard the word. They ain't coming out against us though. Because. Mm -hmm. We just we just representatives. Right. They going actually against the Lord themselves. We, yeah, we just we just, you know what I'm saying, representing your house side. That's right. So if you come out against us, you coming against your house side. Don't be mad because he's using us to be his mouthpiece. Don't right. be mad. I got a haters. I got a scripture for that real quick. <laughs> That's why they mad, because we are the mouthpiece of the Lord, man. And they were enemies of the Lord. That makes us automatic enemies with them. Let me get that John real quick. Just real quick. John seven and seven. John 7 and 7, the world cannot hate you, but me it hated. That's right. Because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. That's right. That's right. So that's the, you know what I'm saying? So we, here we complain about all this wickedness and evil and people hate us for it. We're going to get that. Here you go. This is uh, 2 Peter 2 and I'm a, um, 2 and 20. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and Savior, Yahweh Shai, the anointed, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. Right, the latter end, right, because if you, if you come into the truth and then you fall out, like that last scripture said, then come with the evil one. Then come the wicked one, you know what I'm saying? Satan come on your ass even worse than the truth. What's up, DB? You know what DB stands for? <laughs> Douchebag. <laughs> I 
a bad script. Where these bitches come from that be that thick, man? I tried, but somebody was talking shit on the internet. And they was talking about some hoes. That's like the best place for the hoes is in goddamn Columbus. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, goddamn. OSU campus. I never knew it, man. They, they shipping all the hoes from all around the world here. That's right. They want They imported, bro. Just like they import the beef. You know what I'm saying? That women's like a commodity. You know what I'm saying? Soon, when the society breaks down and collapses, just like the scripture says, seven women shall take hold of one man. You're going to have people using women as actual currency. They're going to trade a woman for a... Uh, yeah, you some, know, maybe some a hundred gallons of gasoline or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. You'll have a good looking woman have a lot of value. A couple gallons. Of, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. A bad good one, one, nice bad one. one. Yeah. You yeah. get a lot out of that. Yeah. So you're going to have that. Yeah. They're going to use women as a commodity. Ain't going to be no money. Ain't going to be no Federal Reserve notes. The money's going to be food, grain, water, women, uh, resources, gasoline, diesel, uh, kerosene, all that shit. Oil, celery, tomatoes. Oh, it's just gonna be hard to find vegetables too. Yeah, vegetables are gonna be worth a lot, bro. It's just gonna be like in that movie, The uh, Road, Road Warrior. Is that what it's called, Road Warriors? There's a new Road Warrior coming out. Four, 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 four. Yeah. I can't wait to see that. It's not. It's gonna be with a new actor too. That's some shit I would like some to watch. From Australia. Yeah, I might have to check that oh, out. Oh, you know we gotta watch that. Yeah, I don't even watch movies, but I'll watch that shit. I love them, man. I love them. Just, Apocalyptic shit. Yeah. The best movie ever is The Road. Yeah. That could sure possibly... That that's one of the best movies ever made, man. Yeah. And that's how it's going to be. There was no food. They showed... Excuse me. They showed you in that movie, they was eating goddamn bugs and shit to survive. I know it's a movie, but... Hey. That's just an illustration Ooh, and a, an example. That's, that's a prophecy. This motherfucker could be eating their children, so... Right, they gonna, that, that's shit. in that movie they show. They were, right, they eating. Well, he was eating bugs because he didn't want to eat his children. Right. But we ain't gonna be. There are certain bugs you're allowed to eat. Mm -hmm. Crickets, they're lawful. And, well, uh, uh, beetles, beetles, and uh, locusts. locusts. Doesn't sound very tasty to me, but. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you're allowed to eat them. Let me finish this real quick. Pretty good right there. Yeah, this is pretty slow. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. Yeah, because I don't know how the fuck you could come into the truth and fall out anyway. Something got to be wrong with you, man. Mm -hmm. That means that you're not even, you was never even a real man to begin with. Right. You gonna come out here and do this? Cause this shit's fun to me, man. I don't want to stop doing this. This is the only thing I enjoy doing, actually. If I didn't do this, what would I do? Crazy. I wouldn't even know what to do. Go crazy. But some people, they just they want they want to experience the club life. They want to go party and uh, they want the world. They want the world. They want the world. Yeah. They want to be right back in the world again. Getting tired of seeing their buddies. You know, like I said before, driving around a piece of shit that don't run with 24s on it, and they impressed by that shit. I guess so. You know, pocket full of money, but they don't want to get the car an oil change or a tune up. Want to be part of the world, man. I can't, I don't even fit in the world. I can't even go. I uh -huh. couldn't even, I can't fuck, because the world already rejects me. Mm -hmm. Can't even fit in. He can't even fit in. Yeah. I got nowhere to go, but right here. I can't even go somewhere and have a fucking simple drink. Without getting in a fight. You know? I mean, you know how I, you know I can't go to bars. It's crazy, man. You can't even go somewhere and you feel uncomfortable you feel around uncomfortable. people. It's like you, your, your spirit is pushing you, once you just push away from these people, man. Cause they looking at you different and strange anyway. They, they do look at you strange, you know? like you're an outsider. Yeah. Uh, we're like the outsiders. Like this white chick told me the other day, she was listening to me. She's like, you ain't from here, are you? I'm like, yeah, I'm from here. I, been, I grew up in the city. She was like, you seem like somebody grew up in the country or something. That's what they tell me too. Yeah, they, you ain't they, from they, here. They, 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 I told you motherfuckers, hey, said, well, you from South Carolina? Yeah. <laughs> I'm from the South Side. Right. Cause she's saying that you just don't sound like these ordinary people out here. Yeah, we don't either. You know, that's just how it is, you know? But we ain't these ordinary people. Right. There ain't nothing ordinary about us. I mean, the scripture says, what do righteousness have to do with unrighteousness? What do a, 
a high heat or what's what is it? What do uh, oh yeah uh, 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 jackal? Well, you said wolf in the lamb. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 What, what's, the, what's the word? What, uh, 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 what does a wolf have to do with a lamb? Oh yeah, where is that? That's a, I got it. I think there's one in the apocrypha. Yeah, that's in the apocrypha. I mean, you know, we, I, hey, I, I, it's just I how it, it is. We have no business I got being around unrighteous people. It's just how it is, man. You have no business being around somebody that's always occupied in doing evil. Man, even if I do say I'm a king, I don't go to clubs and bars. Yeah, hang on. But if I'm oh, hanging out with drinking with people, because the Lord do that, mm -hmm. I'll get fucked up. I hang out with uh, some two thirds sometimes. Right. And, right, and I'll be right. drinking and I'll be talking shit the whole time. And they get mad. <laughs> right. they, get, they, they call right. me Buzz Killington. They say I'm a yeah, buzz, buzz kill. kill. <laughs> like, man, you killing my buzz, buzz man. Buzz kill. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I mean, it's cool to be around somebody you've always you've grown up with, and if you just vexing their soul, vexing right. their spirit, that's yeah, that's cool. that's fun, man. You know, it, I like yes, you be trolling people. You're right, right. I use, I've been around, I go around two thirds just because I'm just I'm always on the look. Man. I'm always yeah. on the lookout for a brother, man. Oh yeah, because do look, see people try to take that like like uh, Dave. He try to take that scripture when the Lord is kicking it with. Uh, Sinners and publicans. Right, right. Some brothers will take that to the extreme. They'll think, all oh, that means you, you can be part of the Partaking world. Partaking what they do. They're yeah. not getting it. Yeah. We, we kick it with two thirds sometimes because we, we, you know, like, we fish it. Right, right. It's not like we're having a good, good time with company, us. We don't company. enjoy the company at all. <laughs> at all. all. At all. At all. We yeah, we trying to pull them out. The, <laughs> you know, the, they had their drowning, and we trying to, we throwing them a. a, a uh, life raft, or what some things called? Right, right, right. A right. lifesaver. Yeah. A boat. Oh, yeah. A boat. Whatever the fuck they say. But yeah, but what, if you know somebody's no goddamn good and they grimy as hell, and they just no damn good, you ain't supposed to continually be kicking it with them. But some some people take more work than others. You know what I mean? Yeah. You you might have to. Everyone's different. Ecclesiasticus. Uh, 13 and 17. What fellowship hath the wolf with the lamb? So the sinner and the godly. What agreement is there between the hyena and a dog? And what peace between the rich and the poor? Oh, there ain't no peace between the rich and poor, is there? You always got people talking about that 1% shit out here. That's why you had uh, all these all these different uprisings going on in America. Everybody's tired of these rich motherfuckers owning everything. Yeah, they sick of that shit. And people's out for blood now, especially if they got uh, they provoked all those people down there in Ferguson. They started burning shit down. If that was even them to burn it down, it's hard to say with a lot of these so-called movements. Half of them are set up by the damn government. Man, nobody like these rich people, man. We read more of this. As the wild ass, as is the lion's prey in the wilderness, so the rich eat up the poor. Where you at, bro? Is it, uh, Ecclesiastes 17? Why, you want to read it? No, I was just looking for it. Oh, okay, seven. No, I'm 13. My fault. Yeah, it started at 13 and 17. As the proud hate humility, so doth the rich abhor the poor. Oh yeah, because the, the rich, the elite, your rulers and masters, they, they look at y'all like you ain't shit. Like the Rothschilds, all these motherfuckers is running shit. Even these rich Edomites live up in the good neighborhoods. They live up in uh, uh, like Dublin and Germanville, all these Jew devils that live up in Bexley. Mm -hmm. They look at us like we're cockroaches. We need to be exterminated. They call us, uh, they call these people useless eaters. You know what I mean? And we call them useless eaters too. But they, they look at us like the average person, the, the poor people, like we're, we're nothing, like we're filth. Mm -hmm. They just want to exterminate your ass, man. That's, That's why my sister's ex-husband look at uh, brothers, man, like, because he rich, he got money and shit. He, yeah. Man, he don't even want to associate with a brother no more. Right, because you know, he's like you're a piece of trash to mm -hmm. him. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Don't even want to speak to you. Literally, don't even want to speak to you, man. When you like grew he, up with the motherfucker. Because he's better you know? than you, right? Yep, yep. When he's a fucking faggot, a fucking homosexual. Like money makes you better than somebody. Mm -hmm. 
fucking faggots. There's more meat to this. All his sons, all them fucking faggots. They on time, they already rich, they making that money, man. Oh, check this out, this is a good one. As a proud, oh, excuse me, a rich man uh, beginning to fall is held up of his friends, but a poor man being down is thrust also away by his friends. When a rich man has fallen, he hath many helpers. Mm. He speaketh things not to be spoken, and yet men justify him. Right, cause just because he got that money, he can say all kind of blasphemy shit. All kind of shit. People will back him up. Claudine and yep. yeah, he's like these rappers. Mm -hmm. and, right, right. You know what I'm saying? They right. talk all this blasphemy shit. Right. To all this adultery up in the music, and they get praised for it. Yep, yep. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. Actually, I, I need to back up, I skipped something. And yet, uh, let me read that again. When a rich man is fallen, he hath many helpers. He speaketh things not to be spoken, and yet men justify him. The poor man slipped, and yet they rebuked him too. Mm -hmm. Showing, looking at look, him like he ain't shit. Like, that's like us. Going he, around him, stepping over him and shit. It says, he spake wisely and could have no place. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue and look what he saith. They extol it to the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. Yeah. Riches are good unto him that have no sin. And poverty is evil in the mouth of the ungodly. Mm. The heart of a man changes his countenance whether it be for good or evil, that's right. in a merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance. Oh, that's what I was looking for. That's the scripture I was looking for. You know, just like you when you was talking about dude from Randy Moss, from Ch the Chicago camp, his yeah. whole countenance changed right? yeah. over time. He started looking different. Just like young GUI, his, <laughs> his everything, his whole countenance changed now, man. Like Daryl said, Daryl said he looked like a uh, one of them gay.